we empathize with anyone who's going through a storm. We know what it's like. Almost 300,000 homes and businesses in Puerto Rico are still without power as the island recovers from Hurricane Fiona's impact 10 days ago. Our Neil Zarang spoke with a Little Rock native who moved to Puerto Rico this summer. So, Neil, how is she doing in the aftermath of that storm? Kevin Donna much better this week. Hannah Perez, her husband and two children were without running water for five days and without electricity for eight. She's luckier than her neighborhood next to her, who she says is using a generator for water right now. And she also says the next nearest town is still mostly without power too. Winds and rain of Hurricane Fiona felt familiar for most Puerto Ricans, but not for Hannah Perez. I have lived here for three months now. Recently moved from Little Rock, she's used to tornadoes and winter storms, not 30 inches of rain over three days. Mudslides, landslides, uh, roads were getting washed out all over the island within the first day or two. It was already up to people's car windows. Fortunately, her family was on high ground, but because of the recent move, they lack necessities natives learn to live by, like a gas oven. It is the longest that I've ever been without power, so cooking things was very difficult. Uh, and we had to get creative. For eight days, nearby neighbors guided the Perez family through the disaster, which according to Puerto Rican authorities claimed at least 16 lives. The storm came half a decade after Hurricane Maria killed nearly 3,000 in 2017. Perez says you can feel the frustration on the island at times, but people quickly work together and bounce back. Everybody here is just so resilient. It makes you want to push harder and and help more too. And as our eyes in the eye of Hurricane Ian watch over Florida, she's praying for their safety and quick recovery. So just please return the favor and keep Puerto Rico in your prayers because they deserve it. They deserve it. They're good people. Hannah says she hopes to be more prepared the next time Puerto Rico is the target of a hurricane. But after her first hurricane, neighbors have adopted her into the family even more because now they really understand the island's battle with nature. Niels Rang, Fox 16 News.